Alphalete undies compared to Victoria's Secret and the Lululemon undies. I am 100% pleased with the Alphalete underwear. I am completely blown away by them. I have worn them a few times. I've washed them. I've worked out in them. They are still in one piece. They look great and I really like them. I will not be trying these underwear on, so if you think you're gonna see some ass in this video, you should stop watching it now. The underwear comes in small, medium, large, and it comes in black, blue, and red. For the Alphalete underwear, and it's probably about two inches, these are smalls. Uh, they are true to size for underwear. I usually uh, get smalls and underwears underwear uh, because what I need larger in, it doesn't cover my cheek, so. So I'd say the band is about two inches, and then the thong is a good fit. It has a nice lining on the inside for us ladies. The material is 75% nylon and 25% elastine. Nice and stretchy. The Victoria's Secret, if any of you have Victoria's Secret, in front is probably about two inches as well. In the back, it's a little bit smaller. The difference between the Alphalete underwear and Victoria's Secret is Victoria's Secret kind of goes down in a V, and I'll show you on the counter. Victoria's Secret material is actually a little bit more coarse. It is a little different. Their material is 61% polyamide and 39% elastane. So I think the polyamide is maybe a mixture between polyester and something else. So it's a little bit more coarse. Now for the big dog comparison to Lululemon. Lululemon does not tell us what the blend of fabric is. On their website, all it says is, the fabric is soft, delicate fabric, is sweat wicking and fits like a second skin. Here is the Lululemon back is a lot smaller than the front. You can see the difference. There is the lining, of course. This lining is actually stuck to the underwear. Awfully comes comes apart. I don't know if that makes a difference for you, but the Victoria's Secret one does too. I will say though that the Lulu and the Alphalete feel similar. Um, just by holding up the two, I will say that. Lulu is a little bit lighter, I think just because the band is a little bit thicker on the Alphalete. Um, and then also, if you can see, the Lululemon has kind of a, like a little band. You can see the band? You can see the zoom in on the band, there you go, right there. The little band, the Alphalete does not. I don't know if that makes a difference. I didn't have to adjust the Alphalete underwear, the only difference is I mean, you know, you have the occasional wedgie that you have to pick. I know it goes up your butt, but we won't get into that. Y'all know if you wear thongs. <clears throat> but I really, really like the Awfully Underwear a lot, and I'll show you the differences right now. Okay, I do want to break apart every single piece of this underwear for you because I love them and I want to put my stamp of approval on them. Let's talk about, let's go from top to bottom and then front to back. The These are Victoria's Secrets at the top and you can see kind of how it V's. Victoria's Secret is almost three inches. Alphalete is almost three inches as well. And then Lululemon is a little bit more than two inches. So 2.5 inches on the width on the front. Um, also, if you notice the Victoria's Secret underwear kind of goes down at an angle. And then up, I guess more of a feminine look and not just so straight across, but Alphalete is straight across and Lululemon are straight across. Okay, and <laughs> I guess the little vagina pouches. Um, the Victoria's Secret's a little bit thicker and the Alphalete's a little bit thicker. I feel like they're the same thickness. Uh, they're still thin, but they're just thicker than the Lululemon, which is really, really thin and really, really light. Now for the back. So the back of the Victoria's Secret thong does go down at an angle as well. It has a line going down the center. The measurement on the back is right at about two and a half inches. The Alphalete backing is a little bit more than two and a half, almost three. So the front and the back are, are pretty aligned and has a nice little thong in the back. And it does look like it's a lot, but you actually can't feel it when it's on. They feel 
great. Blue Lemon is a little bit more, I guess, thongy, close, more close to a G-string, I would say. Not really, but closer. One and a half inches, and then it's a little thong. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love, 100% give the Alphalete underwear a thumbs up. My stamp of approval, they are amazing. If you want a great pair of underwear, not even just to work out, but just to live in every single day, these are your go-to. I wear thongs every single day, and I only wear thongs from Lululemon and Victoria's Secret because the fabric is just nice. Um, I can't wear cotton underwear because the thong hurts. I mostly wear G-strings. That might be a little too much TMI, but it's my preference. Um, I, I've gotten used to it for so many years, and I love them. I've been, I've worn the Alphalete ones to try them out to see how they go because I want to give you my honest approval. Um, I would not tell you to buy them. I don't get paid from Alphalete for for doing these videos or for for helping you out. Like I genuinely want you to pick good clothes, girls. I hope you enjoy lunch on Saturday. Love you guys.